Hi there, welcome to MTurk Guide. Today I'm gonna to go over Panda Crazy and it's gonna be just the basics, just the very minimal <laughs> functionality to get you going. And then I plan to do um, another webcast that is a little bit longer and a little bit more detailed because there's a lot with Panda Crazy um, and, and it keeps getting updated periodically and new functionality continues to appear. So I just wanna get you the very basics of how to get moving with this. So in order to use Panda Crazy, you're going to need a few scripts. I've put them here from Greasy Fork. You have the Panda Crazy script and the Panda Crazy helper. You need both installed and both turned on in Tamper Monkey. And then once you've done that, you're going to open up a new wing window and you navigate to this mturk slash mturk slash welcome Panda Crazy. And it will take a moment and you'll get a gray box in the middle of your screen and it'll show some stuff going on and then it will load for you. And once it is loaded in one window, you're gonna see when you refresh other windows, if you have like your hit list up or anything, you'll see these Panda Crazy notations added and these are all clickable. So you'd obviously put Panda, you'd click Panda if you wanted them to cl collect many or once if it's a survey and you just wanna click uh, to collect one. And then what will happen is, is a box will appear in your Panda Crazy console, if you will. And this is the Panda Crazy homepage or console. There's only a few things here that I'm actually gonna call out to you. Um, this is the pause or run jobs button right here. Um, this is your cycling button. Um, if you only have like one or two pandas running, you could leave it on one. If you have more than that, I'd, go, I'd bump it up to two. Um, if you hover over these when you're actually in the system, there's little notations that, that is there to help you. Um, and every time you add a panda, these boxes show up and it, it'll have the requester name, the amount, the title, and then this is accepted, ACC accepted search is how, many, how, how much has been searched. Then you have collect, go ham, and details. And details will open up a whole whole can of worms for you. And then on the bottom, you have your queue watch, which will let you know how many you have in, in queue. So that's your home page. Um, and the hitbox specifically, which is pretty important, as we kind of just I described a, a lot about it, but collect is just to start collect. Um, if it's a panda where you wanted a lot of them, it will collect numerous. If you just want one, it'll be trying to collect that one. Go ham, if you click it once and it turns green, it'll shut off um, all the other pandas that are on and then just accelerate this one panda. And that's if you're really hot on, a, on an item and it will that's your best chance of getting it. Uh, go ham delayed is when you hold down on go ham and it turns light blue. And what happens there is that it will go into ha go ham mode only when it, 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 it detects the hit is there. So it'll accept a hit and it'll go ham for a, a certain amount of time and then it goes back uh, to a delayed go ham. So it's kind of like if you want your other pandas to be running, you know, in between, that's when you do delayed go ham. Um, and then in the right hand corner up here where it says 30 dot 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 Z, if you just click on that once, it will copy the panda link directly to your to your clipboard, and then you could paste it into, um, you know, if you're putting it in a comment or Facebook or sending it to someone or whatever. It's just an easy way to create that panda link. And I do have one warning for you, um, and I'll actually go back one. You can mute your tab. Um, down here it says mute alarms, or at the top you can mute your tab. The Default noises in this are loud. There's a big bell that goes ding, ding, ding every time um, you get a hit that's less than five minutes and it dings periodically at an obnoxious rate. Um, there's like a screamy song that for some reason, or I think when you hit a capture, it kind of screams. I mean, it's meant to get your attention and you can change the music and the sounds if you just go online and download clips, um, but you'll jump out of your seat the first time if you've got your volume up too loud. So just be aware if you, I don't actually like noises coming out of my PC, so I tend to mute all of that, um, but that's fair warning for all you out there. Um, and the one other thing that's important to know is um, how to put together a requester search in Panda Crazy. And a requester search is where um, it will grab, look for and grab and accept 
anything from a requester. So if you like Zoltar, for example, and they happen to drop the six, 12 and 20 cent hits, it will, it will grab any of them in that category, not just the 12 cent ones. So what you do is you um, look up the requester ID in Turk Opticon, and you've seen it in other webcasts, it's right under the name, and you copy it and you go to add job up here and this opens up and you add a new panda and even though you're not adding a new panda you're okay you put the requester id in and then you click add panda for group id and then you're going to have this little box here and you click on details and this opens up and what you do is you take um, the requester id out of the group id and you put it and what you do is you just click right next to the colon there and it uh, opens up to be editable and you just paste the requester ID in the requester ID slot. You remove the group ID as the requester ID. You want to leave that blank and then you turn, it'll be on Panda automatically. You turn it to search and then you save it and what will happen is it will grab everything that's related to that requester. So that's as simple as it gets, um, and that's the very, very basics. So what I'll be doing is putting together more webcasts to give you more information on how to use Panda Crazy efficiently. So definitely look, keep an eye out for that, um, for that one, and I will get it posted as soon as possible. As always, comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you need to, to need to hear about. Thanks.